Hey friends, Zirin here. Some of you who have been on the channel for a long time know I used to do some reactionary videos on games and I wanted to bring that back. Mostly because I wanted to do some videos on games I've played recently. However, I felt like they didn't need the full overview or introduction video that I normally would do. It would be a good practice for me in making comments while playing a game and a different style of editing, while hopefully some of you will get a good laugh out of it and perhaps discover games you might be interested in. I'll give a quick introduction to the game itself with my character on screen, however the rest of it will just be gameplay footage with my reactions. These are meant to be honest reactions and drawing in my boy to try and fit these reactions seems to be counterintuitive. If you do end up enjoying this sort of style, please tell me down below, or if you have any suggestions on other games for me to do similar types of videos on, like say a smaller RPG split into multiple videos maybe, please throw them my way. I would like to take the time to try new things alongside the weekly Saturday videos. Anyhow, enough prefacing, let's get straight into today's actual topic, One Step From Eden. As the title suggests, it's basically a Mega Man Battle Network on steroids, music is amazing, and yeah, here we go! I can already tell 5 seconds into recording that I'm gonna regret choosing this game for my first, you know, talking while recording in a long time. Mostly because... This is a game where it's actually pretty mechanically intensive, so I'm probably either gonna not play- I'm probably gonna die a lot, or I'm going to not save much during the game. But I'm gonna try my best and we'll see what happens. I will say this is not my first run, as you can clearly see, I have all the characters unlocked. Reason for that is I simply did not think I was gonna do a video on this game, I was just playing this on my own time for fun. But I had a really good time actually and thought, you know, why not? For now, we're gonna pick the kunai loadout, because it's a loadout that requires a lot of patience, so I can show off a lot of the enemy attacks in this game, how they look, and also, um, it'll give me time to think and, you know, just be able to talk while I dodge all the enemy attacks and accumulate more kunais to throw at them. Anyways, we'll pick the hardest difficulty I can currently pick, and yeah, let's just get started. I'll talk a bit more as we start playing. I suppose the first thing I should probably tackle is just what you're seeing on screen. Now is a good time as any, because the game is easy in the beginning and gets harder later. So right now, I can dodge these attacks, and I won't just die while talking. So if your first thought upon seeing this is, wow, this looks like a Mega Man Battle Network, then yes! One Step From Eden is essentially a roguelike Mega Man Battle Network kind of game. Imagine if you took out all those pesky story elements, and you just had combat, 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 just rounds of combat all the way until you reach the end and fight the final boss, then yes, that is One Step From Eden. The deck building elements come from the fact that, as you saw earlier, at the end of every round you get one of three chips to choose from to add into your deck. They're not called chips, they're basically attacks, but, you know, Mega Man Bad Network, so I'm calling them chips. Another great reason for this loadout is that picking cards for my deck as she so is really easy, well, with the kunai ability. I just need things that are shields because I want to keep my deck slim and I want to keep it so I can use it before I just get my kunais, because kunais get tacked on at the end of my deck. So, every time we say shield, we're just going to pick it up. Gives us more time to accumulate more kunais. As you can see, my deck is like, what? Five cards long right now? It's only been like four rounds, but still pretty small. I'm going to put some Fanlax focus, which means that we'll probably have a higher chance to get more shield cards. Unfortunately, I seem to be losing control of this battle, because I do not... I cannot dodge all this, this is too much. Like, I cannot dodge the random laser, the sword guy, this diagonal attacks, Ew. I'm pro- mm, Maybe? Just maybe- uh, yep. Yeah, no. Well, at least I don't have to explain anymore for the next run. We're just gonna go straight into it, pretend this didn't happen. Maybe I should do an easier difficulty. Eh, I'm no wimp. I forgot to mention this earlier actually, but the game is comprised of 8 levels. Uh, is it 8? I think it's 8? It might be 7, whatever. We'll see, you'll see as we go along. And every, at the end of every level there is a boss. Um, these bosses are the main draw of the game. These are the toughest enemies, these are the ones that you want to have a high HP stat for. And the ones that you want to have a good deck coming in, because they're not, they're not that easy. And they scale with depending on which level they are on. We'll also have to make the choice of choosing whether to save them or to kill them, which will lead into the getting either the good or bad ending. For this time around, we will be going for the good ending. Well, not even the good, the pacifist ending, because the bad ending requires us to fight the true final boss, and eh, I probably wouldn't be able to do it using this kunai deck unless I completely keep silent and just concentrate on the gameplay, which would be kind of boring, so yeah. Oh, gosh darn it. 
Anyways, we're coming on first boss. We're gonna get right now. And it looks like for our first battle, we're going with Saffron. Uh, it's random between each playthrough who's your boss. So, the earlier you fight the boss, the easier they're gonna be compared to, like, their harder form. Saffron's pretty... It's not that hard, actually. Um, I used to think she was really hard when I first played her, but... She telegraphs what ability she's gonna run right on top of her head. You can see the chips. And once you recognize her moves, you know, it's pretty easy to know how to dodge them. I mean, for instance, right now she see a shotgun above her head. I know that her move's gonna be a three-range attack. It has to be two blocks ahead of her. Stuff like that. So yeah, just, you know, get rid of kunai's. Not too much. She's kind of dumb too. She hits herself a lot. She says all these trap dolls, but you can easily lead her to just attack herself. Gosh, Saffron's dumb sometimes. Okay, I think I've piled up kunai's. Let's just go for it now. Check out my Emiya cosplay! Whoop, gotta dodge those. I actually had to stop because it was stupid dolls. But otherwise, I could've just keep going like right now. Oh, easy, yeah. I, I probably piled way too many kunai's. If you look at my left side... Oh, it hurt. You know, I caught her really easy, but I'm actually really close to dying. Anyways, pacifist because, you know, otherwise I won't be able to talk. So we're gonna save her and now net us, uh, net us 200 HP. 400 HP normally, but 200 because we're on a higher difficulty setting. Alright, time to- f OH MY GOD IT BURNS! HOLY- Oh, oh I forgot! Oh, Come on! Alright, so let me explain what just happened. I just completely brain farted. That's an enemy where every time you attack, you use a spell. It swaps places of where it's on the map. So, and it will shoot a fireball where it left off. I just brain farted while I was trying to talk, and I just tank like 300 damage. I have 7 HP right now. Honestly, if I don't, I'm probably gonna die here. Oh god, it's back again. Although this time I'm pretty lucky because there's someone blocking its way so it can't teleport. So I can just like, you know, you can see right here. <sighs> okay. I'm in a really dangerous spot right now. If I take one hit from any battle, I just instantly game over. Oh, oh, they can't get me. Oh, can't get me. Hey, right. now we're at 107 HP instead of being at 7. Alright, let's see. Campfire is safer, but shop gives a better chance of getting good stuff, so. Oh, that's the HP I need. Oh, dang it, but 50 max HP when you kill a hostage? That's gonna be like 400 HP plus by max HP by the run. Hmm, well, we still need more HP, and there's a challenge, but the boss is coming soon? It's probably fine. Half mana region? I can take that. For 150 HP right now? Ah, eh, we don't need mana region to beat the boss. That's what our kunai collect ring is for. Alright, let's uh, also try to upgrade a kunai ring, maybe get the... Darn. Ra upgrades are random, and there's one upgrade that doubles the amount of kunais we get every second. Every other upgrade you see right here only does it when, like, you throw the ring at the enemy, which is useless. That just doesn't matter. We're not gonna take any of them. Alright, skirt, let's move on. Maybe we can just get HP from here? No. Alright. This boss is easy, so we can farm some HP off this boss, so. Oh no, I'm so close to dying, please just- Ah, oh, dang it, he got away. Alright, right now, come on. If I don't do it now, I'm gonna lose. Oh god, one more. Uh, oh no, I'm stuck. Dang it. Maybe, maybe this is- mm. Ah. Alright, maybe it's time to pick an easier difficulty. Talking while playing is proving to be a much harder task than I intended. Um, no. We'll try it again, one more time. Well, at least the, the run ended really fast. Okay, all right. One last time. If I fail one more time, I'm just gonna run Execution, so it won't be as much fun to watch, but at least we'll get to the ending. Oh, nice, it's Terra. Actually, you can see in the bottom right what it is. I just forgot about that until just now. Terra's nice because she stands stills a lot of the time, so it's easy to hit it with kunais. Sometimes it's hard for me to tell if what I'm doing looks very impressive or not, just because it's kind of been baked into my memorization of how these patterns are. It helps that it's like a lower version of Terra as well, so I can just kind of let muscle memory take over. Later bosses get kind of hard actually, but for now, the game kind of points you where to go. Alright, I think that's enough prep work. We got a lot of kunais, 
every time I throw them all at once, I think of like Gilgamesh's Gate of Babylon. It's like, whoa! <laughs> oh, ow. Okay, I'm actually close to dying, but hey. She's already close to dead. Let's just go finish. Oh, 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 whoa, oh. Oh, wow, that was trash near the end. Uh, give me the HP later. Let's just move on. Let's just go. Oh, no. When that thing starts shooting, it's actually going to be really hard to dodge. I need to kill it fast and stat. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, God. Things were looking bad there for a second, but, you know, the rest of it should be good. All right. Looks like our boss is Hazel, and Hazel is... Probably my least favorite character of the game. At least, luckily for us, it's also probably the easiest boss, I think. Yeah, I would say she's one of the easiest bosses. Her attacks are really easy to dodge. Oh man, her ability though, I mean, you'll see in a bit. Uh, you, we haven't really seen it much because I kept on dying so early, but all the bosses, if you save them, will give you like a buff at the start of certain battles. Hazel's buff is usually good, although for some reason I, I tend to find it kind of gets in the way. Uh, we'll see what I mean. Anyways. Same plan as always, we're gonna get shurikens, we're gonna dodge our attacks, kill some of the turrets so it doesn't overwhelm us. It's pretty simple. I've actually never beat- I think I've beaten the game with everyone except for Heizo, just because I don't like her, um, turret thing. I think turrets in this game are awful. Straight awful. Because you can destroy them yourself. Alright, I think now it's time to finish the battle. I think having a solid 100 kunais is enough to finish her off. This should be enough kuna. I'm pretty sure there's enough kuna. It's okay, that hurt. But come on! There. Done. Alright, move on. We save her so we can get our HP back. And also, you know, pacifist ending. Alright, we get another relic. And oh, finally. It's like one piece of Exodia. Our kunais now apply poison. There's like five relics in this game where like if you get all five of them, this kunai deck is actually busted. Like there's one where like... Wherever you throw a kunai, you get a shield. One where kunais do double damage by applying, like, fragile. We finally have a, a relic that does something. So far, we've not gotten many relics that actually benefit us in any way. Oh, you can see the poison at work right now. It, It's useful. It's not going to be, like, as useful as double damage. But it'll, it'll be useful when you come to fight certain bosses near the end. Alright, Mr. Gunner. I'm back. And this time, I've got poison. You know, since I have so much time to talk right now because it's the beginning of the fight, so we're just gathering kunais. I actually read a review on this game while I was like, you know, was looking it up. And the review said that they were kind of angry that the game had no story or that like... Which, my first response was, this game has a story, but... They were talking about like the flavor text, how a lot of the characters kind of spout out memes. Like, one of the attacks says, Oh, I'm, I'm a firing my laser, or stuff like that. I don't know. Personally, it doesn't really bother me. I think... Maybe it's because I just... I'm not really looking for a story sometimes. There's some games where, like, I... I I'd be the first to say, like, I really appreciate a good story in a video game. But sometimes, you're, you know, a game just doesn't need it. It just needs to be good fun. Also, you can see, like, how my poison is stacking on him right now. Like, ooh, he takes 340 damage. Poison cuts in half every time it does damage, so... Usually you just want to throw enough kunais where your poison will finish him off, which is what we're going for right now. The slow motion looks cool, but that's not me, that's the boss. And that should be enough poison, and... done. Simple enough. A useless chip as always, skip that, and... Oh, another relic. Oh, ghost costume. That thing is- some of the relics in this game are kind of broken. Ghost costume is one of them. It gives 7 seconds of invincibility at the start of the battle. For most decks, if I wasn't going kunais, the battle ends in less than 5 seconds, I'm gonna be perfectly honest. At first glance, getting two kunais sounds like good because, you know, my deck is all about kunais, but... No, because we already have an infinite number of kunais. Anyways, we're gonna get to the boss, Violet. I really like the Violet boss fight. One reason, I think the stepping mechanic for getting the shield is really cool. More than that though, I think it's super cool how you can hear it, right? It's in time with the mu beat of the music. All of our attacks, the shield thing, and the music's really good. One of my favorite soundtracks in this game. So, I love this boss fight. I'm also pretty good at dodging it, which, you know, makes me feel better about myself. Alright, so, 
At this point, we're just gonna throw Autokunai's out. We're not trying to kill her in one go. But we have a poison that's gonna finish her off as soon as, like, right now. Right now, we can just sit still. We just stand, we'll win. Yep. God, I love Kunai's. It's very satisfying just tossing them all at once. Although the build up is a little slow. Alright, Saffron, I'm back, and I am going to absolutely destroy you. How do you like my armor, lady? 100? 141? 181? 481? I like so you get past this. Honestly, shield is just busted in this game. No matter what build you go, you should always be stacking shield abilities, since it's basically like having infinite HP. Alright, enough build up. Let's do it. Just look at her HP go down. It's like... Psh actually just tickling so fast oh wow i actually ran off cool eyes ah my poison will take care of her. i can just sit here 200 hp region i have my cool eyes you're dead lady i could literally stand here you'd be dead oh wait she has region okay um okay i need one more hit just one more and there okay now she's got gone her God, I love Saffron. She's like free 200 HP no matter when I meet her. Oh. Oh, there it is. You see Car Thrower? That's 20 damage every time I throw a Kunai. Another piece of the Kunai Exodia, if you will. Uh, 20 money if you kill Hostage. It's kind of late already. I think we're already near the end of the game. There's only like two more levels left. Two or three, so useless. All right, let's try to upgrade a kunai for like the fifth time this run and nothing! Woo! Yay! Okay, whatever. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I think at this point this deck is strong enough. Friends, welcome to the most busted character in the game. Not the most busted boss. I think as a boss, she's not that hard. Most of her moves are pretty easy to dodge once you get a feel for them. But if you're playing Reva, Reva is so broken in this game. Like... Her normal attack gives her reflection ability for like point something seconds at a cost of one mana. You can easily get to a point in this game where you have enough mana regen where you can cast her infinite reflect, do damage while not taking any damage for at least three seconds in a row. It's pretty disgusting. I did a run previously. I have a video of it and you want to see it, but... You can literally fight the final boss, the genocide final boss, and stand still and destroy her. It's so... EVO! God, Reva is so broken. As a boss, though, nah, eh, she's fine. I think as long as you play relatively smart, you can dodge all her attacks or not worry much about them. I mean, it also helps I have, like, 660 armor right now, but... My kunais are so strong right now, like... Whoa! Whoa, I don't even need a hit or I can do damage. It's so strong. While my kunai has the full damage of like 20, I think I've stacked enough spell power and other relics that it does like 50 per hit now. 70 maybe? Around like 60, 70 damage per hit. Alright, we made it to the second to final boss before the final final boss. Cecily is actually pretty tough. I'd say like out of... Probably all the characters. I really dislike fighting her last. As you can- Oh, that, that hurt a little bit. It's not that she's super hard to dodge, but some of her moves are kind of annoying to dodge. It requires my full attention. That's impossible for me to do while I'm trying to talk. Like, this is easy, because it's just pretty easy. It's just, oh, back and forth, but... If we, if we get later, if I, if I don't kill in one hit... Oof. Even now, I'm having trouble dodging it sometimes. Luckily, our kunais are so busted, I think. As long as we just get her down. Come on, just slowly do it. We can even slowly widow her down because our kunais are so strong now. Wait, how did I do 400 damage? Oh, the poison, right. I blinked out there. Yeah. So you can see how, like, endgame kunais? Pretty busted, but every endgame deck's pretty busted. All right. Easy enough. We're going to find a boss. We saved everybody. So we're fighting the pacifist final boss. So when I find a gate, we're fighting that lady in front of us. She's not hard. I, I'd say out of the three final bosses, she's probably the easiest one. Yeah, this is gonna be pretty chill. I think, honestly, I probably only throw like what? 
40 kunais to beat her? That's nothing. It's chump numbers. Some of her attacks are not the easiest to dodge. I will say, um, this one's pretty easy, but... Well, we'll see if we get there. Uh, I'll point it out if we actually get there. This one's like, this, see, this one isn't the easiest. Diagonals in this game are tough. Just have to keep track of them. And this one requires timing. Alright. I, I, I throw away my kunai ring twice by accident. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, I'm actually taking damage. Alright, wait, let me concentrate for a bit. It'd be really sad if, like, I died after making fun of her. I just need some kunais. Come on. Just need a few kunais. Just a few. Oh, and I accidentally rooted myself. Oh, okay, okay, good. We're not dead. Whoa, that would be- I'd be very annoyed if I died. We just need to sneak in a few kunais here and there, try to get her widow her down slowly. Until we can go for the big bang attack. Come on, just hey, come on, I just need to hold this kunai ring long enough. That's it, just long enough. Oh. This break show is suddenly really bad for me, because it's harder for me to dodge now, but that's okay, that's okay. Oh, you can see there's more? That's because she's getting into her halfway state. Oh god, I'm really bad at dodging diagonals in this game. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, not a close one. Okay, now, now we are our chance. I think I'm just gonna see end this battle right now. Come on, just a few more. Yes! Okay, okay, I just need to... And we are finished! That's the end of the pacifist run. All we gotta wait for now is the big damn hero moment. Here we go, everyone's gonna come in to save our butts. Look at all these useless people whose all their passes are just not that great. Uh, we have a choice to save her or to kill her. This is just a very minor choice that affects the ending CG. Well, we'll save her, why not? Doesn't really matter. You know what's funny? She says again because she's like supposed to be Terra. As you can see, Terra isn't in our current roster fighting against her. But I've played the game as Terra and beaten the pacifist route. And you still end up fighting her as the pacifist final boss, so... Eh? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. The story is kind of such a afterthought to this game anyways, but still. The art's kind of cute, though. Anyways, that was One Step from Eden. Yeah, that's ending. Uh, I will say, One Step from Eden is actually surprisingly fun. I came in with quite low expectations. I knew it was like a Battle Network kind of gameplay, but... Music's really good. I I, I, wanna, I can't stress this enough. I think the music is fantastic in this game. Case Case Steel Plus Hayase does an amazing job. If you enjoyed watching and you think this might be up your alley, go ahead and pick up the game on Steam. I'm also very curious of what all of you think about this more reactionary highlight content from me. It's been a long time since I've done an unscripted video and well, it was fun. I had a great time trying to do this. It was also very tough for me, but very fulfilling to try to think of comments. I'm so used to just like writing them out that, well, honestly, it was really hard to do while I was getting shot at. I think for my next one, I'll probably do it on something that's less mechanically intensive. Maybe an RPG or maybe like an action game that isn't so roguelike where my game just ends after I die. If you have any suggestions on what to, what, uh, a game for me to do something else like this on, please throw it down in the comments below. I would love to hear it or even on my Twitter. I think it'll be a ton of fun to try to play a game that I actually haven't played before. So instead of my, me trying to talk about the game, it'll be more like my actual reactions being like, oh my god, what's this? Or what's going on here? You know, a lot more shock, a lot more awe. You know, that sort of thing. Anyways, if you enjoyed One Step From Eden and you want to play it, go ahead and play it. And with that, I'll see you next time.